Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Chris here. Today we're doing on an A4 canvas, which is roughly 11 by 8. Like I say, on a canvas. I'm just putting a wash on the background using my flat brush. I'm just using some burnt umber and some sienna and a tiny little bit of orange. So I'm just getting all the white of the canvas covered, as you can see here in the video. Then I'll just uh, go backwards and forwards just to blend out any high spots. So I've dried that off. I've done a quick sketch of my cat because the main subject of this today is the eyes. So I've just drawn a quick sketch of his face and obviously his eyes. Now I've painted them white because I want uh, the eye, I'm going to glaze the eyes so I want them as clear as possible and that would be quite tricky to do it over that browny orangey colour. So if you start off white it's a bit easier for you, especially when you're doing eyes to get that nice crisp colour depending what colour you're doing obviously. I'm putting a few more darker values in there. I'm just using a deep brown which is some burnt umber and a tiny bit of red just to get some uh, markings that are featured in his fur, yeah? I'm just doing his little nose, it's just a nice little pinky colour. So I'll get this feature in and then we can crack on doing the glazing of the eyes. So just doing this while the white paint was drying off. Getting all my dark values in. But people work differently, so whatever suits you the best. But I always use try and get my dark values in first. I hope you enjoy this, guys. If you do, give us a thumbs up. I appreciate that very much. And if you want to leave me a comment, feel free. It'd be nice. I read everybody's comments and answer any questions that you might want to know. I always get back to you as well. And there's links in the description box if you want to find anything in there. There might be a bit of interest for you in there. But there is some links in the description box also. So now I'm rough sketching in with my uh, quarter inch angle brush. Some like a grey white, off white. So I'm just indicating some fur. So I'm just doing it loose and not over thick, not too opaque. Because the background colour is just actually helping me out, that brownie colour. So I don't want to cover it all up. So what I've done there to mix that colour, I've used some titanium white and some mixing white. But I've used more mixing white than actual titanium white. Because the mixing white's uh, very translucent. As your titanium white is very opaque where you can't see through it. But you can see the difference there on the eyes. I've used the titanium white. I want it a quite thin colour. Now same here, but I'm not covering up them little dark values I've put in there because that's actually is He's got them stripes in his fur, yeah. But I will be just covering them up slightly with uh, like a thin glaze. So they're not as prominent. But the main subject of this today is doing the eyes of the cat. But I like this. I like doing animals. I think they're really cool to do. And I like doing different subjects of animals. I always find that nice and rewarding at the end of the day when you sit back and look at it and you think, oh yeah, I really enjoyed doing that. What what can I do next? You know, you want to try and challenge yourself a bit more, don't you? Well, I do anyway. <laughs> Everybody's different. Now I'm doing a thin glaze. Can you see that glaze going on? Just to bring that fur together. So it's glazing medium. I've just tinted it slightly with a bit of mixing white. That's all. So now I'm putting a, like a yellowy green layer down on the eyes, very thin, with glazing medium. It will look streaky, but that's perfectly normal for the first layer. 
But the importance here is you have to you have to make sure every layer is dry before you go back in. This is slightly speeded up. You think, oh, she hasn't let it dry, but I have. Like I'm moving on to the nose and time passes, as you know. So just make sure everything's dry. Just gonna put a little bit of detail there around his nose because it's going to be the main feature, his little nose and his eyes in this uh, picture today. I think they are cute to do cats. They are cute. You know, you can get all different uh, cats, can't you? You know, all different furs and different eyes and expressions. They're really cool to do. Like dogs as well. They're really good to do when you get different expressions on the faces. I'm just using that peach colour again, that pinky peach that I used for his nose. Just for a little bit of detail around because it's very close up. So you... You would see a bit on his nose. You know, them really fine hairs there on the end of the nose there. Like I say, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, just give it a like and uh, you can leave me a comment. That'd be really nice. I'm just using a, a sap green here just to get the darker rings around the eyes. I'm just soft blending as I go, but it won't over blend out because it's only thin. But the more layers you do in glazing, obviously you get rid of all that. It's a natural process for it to look streaky. So just keep building up your layers. I'm just going a bit light here. I've just got my soft fil filbert brush. And I'm just building up the fur. Keep your nice loose brush strokes. I don't want it over detailed this particular picture. So I just want to get the main attraction, which is obviously the cat size. I'm still leaving some of that under layer just to give it that nice fur texture look. You don't want to cover up all your darks underneath, else your painting will look quite flat. So to create that nice 3D effect, you've got to leave some of your background showing and build up in layers, especially in acrylics. And follow the fur of the animal, you know what I mean? Don't go off doing it different ways at different angles because it, it just won't look right. So if you've got a good reference, keep eye on the way the fur is growing on the animals because all animals are different and they've got different lengths of hair, different texture and so forth. But it's just practice at the end of the day. But if you get a good reference and you can study what you're doing, that's, you know, that really helps you. Like here where it's a lot shorter now, so I'm using shorter uh, irregular brush strokes where further up his head it's a bit longer and so forth. Like where I am now, I can do more longer, bolder strokes. It's still off white. I'm not using a pure white, but I'm using more titanium now. I only use the actual uh, mixing white, the transparent white on the first layer. You can see I've just got a little bit of grey mixed in there, a bit of toning grey. Because more layers you do, the better your painting looks. It's fact. It's just the the way it is, yeah. And obviously, experience and time, and and be patient with your artwork. Don't try and rush to get to the end. I know it's hard sometimes. You just want to see the end result, but just take your time. I'm going in with more of a greeny yellow here. Like I said, I'm leaving it alone now. Letting it dry because it is a glazing. I'm just doing the outer edge of his eyes. Back to that little angle brush. I'm doing some shadows with thin glaze. I'm just 
keep an eye on, keep an eye on, no pun intended, <laughs> the shape of the eyes and the way the animal's head's tilted, you know, and the direction he's looking at. I'm just getting his centre eyes in there, which are really dark, so I'm putting them in really, really dark. And coming in with another glaze, that yellowy green. And can you see how it's soft blending more layers you do? It will automatically just be nice and soft for you. And we're darker ring again, and there's some lighter yellow. I'm just wriggling my brush here to give them that them flecks that are naturally acute. Can't get my words out. Appear, I'll say that. <laughs> in cat's eyes, well, in human eyes as well, you'll see little flecks if you're doing like a close up eye. And pay attention to your shadows, you know, keep them them shadows there. And if you go over it, just come back with another glaze and put them back in. Like another shadow there under the eye. Then pupils are nice and dark. I've just put a fleck of turquoise next to the dark pupils, if you've noticed. Just to give that a bit of light reflection. Just straightening up any jagged edges. And that eye comes over more because he's looking a certain angle. Now another thin glaze, can you see of dark there? Really thin. So hardly any pigment, but plenty of medium. Same me around his nose. Them little stains they usually have under their eyes. So it's a thin layer again here. It's only a thin glaze. To build that up. Shadows under his eyes as well. We need them in to give him depth. Little kitty. Same again. So I'm just soft blending it all out now, a nice thin glaze. And that just brings it all together and it all just looks really cool at the end. And get rid of any harsh lines that you don't want. You can soft blend them out as you go. Some highlights around his muzzle now. So I've just gone with a brighter white again. So I've used less uh, grey into it and more just titanium. And same around the eyes. Because you want it lighter though. Because you want them little bits to stand out around his nose and around his eyes. Now I've gone in with a brighter yellowy green. Obviously everything's dry. Just give that glow. Don't forget your darks. You need to put any in, put it back in. Like I'm doing there. So it is multiple layers, it is patience. But I just wanted to show you today what a good result you can get. By using your glazing to your advantage and into your artwork. Just in that nice shadow there as well across the top of his eye. Use a little round detail brush. Another shadow. Remember, keep letting it dry. And then do another layer. You know, you can get some real realistic work by glazing. Uh, any subject that you do really, it doesn't have to be just eyes, it can be any subject. If you've got the patience, build up your layers, just take your time, have fun, chill out. Because art is therapeutic, it is relaxing. I'm just putting some flecks of light there, of fur texture. 
a few whiskers. He's got a few whiskers going on. Look at them eyes, how cool are they, guys? So, I mean, by doing multiple layers, you can get some really stunning work. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. I enjoyed painting this and showing you. Now, these are the highlights. So, it's an off white I've used in the eyes and on the nose there. So, I didn't want really bright white. And just a bit of yellow ochre there at the bottom. On screen now are two videos you may like to watch and if you're not already subscribed, click on my face and be sure to click the icon bell to get a notification. As always, thanks for watching and create something wonderful. See you all soon on my next video.